We're here at Pilot Point, Texas, getting ready for Sheridan. That's the third leg of the WCB contest. We're with Chad and Susie Chance at CSC Ranches. We're teamed up with uh, WCB to make the two-man go for Cherry Quarter Horse is sponsoring the two-man go, and it's, it's a fun class. This is probably one of the more fun classes. It brings people outside their comfort zone. We need to make a fuller. We're using A36. It's cold rolled steel. It's one inch. We're giving you 18 inches of stock so you can hold on to it with your hand. You might use a glove, but you have to drift an eye in there. The, the, the deal with the class is, is that you're allowed to use your own drift, your mandrel or whatever to punch your eye. So it, 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 it's not a, a, a handling contest. So you can bring your own handle and have it all pre-fit for your, your, stu, your uh, eye drift. This fuller is that like old school Edward Martin where it's just gonna be, the shaft is in the center of the eye. The, the blade, you wanna run through the eye and the head of it. And uh, it's not, this isn't quite the same as the specimen. The specimen's a little bit longer, but what you're gonna do is when you get done making this, this tool, you're gonna clean it up with a file and then you wanna bring it up to uh, 1,550 degrees or red and then quench it in cool water. It'll be more than hard enough to make some passes. Probably the test with this will be is to keep it cooled off and quenched in water as you're running it because if you let it just hang out in a hot fuller, I mean in the fullering, in a hot shoe, it'll heat up and then you lose everything that you've worked to get in this shoe. What we're gonna do is in a one hour go, you have to make your fuller. The second part of the test is that you have a Clydesdale shoe front out of 19 inches of half by inch and a quarter. Eight nail holes, it's set up for an E10, and it is a left front with a hammer-drawn toe clip and the agricultural heels. Handmade fuller, there'll be no fullers allowed on the floor. If we see them on the floor, then we'll assume that you're gonna use them. So no fullers allowed on the floor that day of the contest. And uh, they'll be judged separately. The draft shoes will be judged, and then the fullers will be judged, and they will be given points aggregately. And that'll be the winner of that class, and accumulated points. First thing that we're gonna do when we bring it out is we're gonna take and, and kinda almost make, bring this to a point. We're gonna try and get the material to where it's blended in to where we don't have a giant uh, cold shut in the center. We're gonna remove a little bit of material off the end just by bringing it to a point. Gives us a little bit better of an idea how much to set down on the edge to get that straight blade. All right, we got it started in the center. I'll bring it out, we'll kind of true everything up, and then we'll keep on after this to draw out that blade a little bit, and then we'll set it up for the eye. There we go. Just give me flatten it up a little and then just a little bit more we're gonna just kind of clean this up I'm just gonna come in here and soften these corners a little bit with my hammer we've got the blade in the center now we'll punch our eye right down the center. We'll try and get it as close to these two arcs right here. It'll push material out so we don't have to worry about taking too much strength away from the edges. The 
this one more time. There we go. Just now we're just gonna kinda get rid of some of that sink. I'll get the blade in line and then we'll cut the head. Just easy, we're gonna squish. All righty, come in here. is just kind of take this bubbling out a little bit, kind of make it look a little bit more symmetrical, and then I'm going to take my hot cut and just hot cut right above it. Come on with it. There you go. All right, the hot cut, it does several things. It chamfers it in so you don't got a sharp mushroomed edge. And then what I'm gonna do is we're gonna forge on it a little bit, cut it, forge a little bit. That'll make the head grow and it'll bring everything into where it's, the head is nice and tight and the, the impact point of the sledge is on the very top of the tool. Our goal is to come right through the center of everything. I mean, we're part of uh, the test is to have the fuller actually run. And if, it, if you've got the head off or the eye off from the blade, it'll buck or it'll, uh, it'll jerk sharply every time it hits with the striker, therefore causing it to mushroom or collapse faster. And then, then, we'll, then we're gonna come all the way around. Good job. So what we're doing right now is you could wear out a, a sanding belt trying to do what we're doing right now. Is we just can't, took and put my eyes, I can, I can re-drift open my eye. But what I've done is I've just taken to where the inertia tightens up at the top of the head to where it's not all belled out. So now what we do is just square up this a little bit. And now we've got a nice tight fuller and we got just a little bit of heat. We'll mandrel it out a little bit. Okay, it's a nice hole. Now I'll flatten it up and we'll cut the blade in. Easy, just easy one. There we go. Now just give me one. Easy. One more. Perfect. Now we're just gonna get these angle cuts in there just so I Always rotate it a full, a full turn. That way you're not just making it. When I turn, I'll make a full turn and then that way it doesn't make it all cattywampus. I want to do as much cleanup as I can 
before I actually cut it off. So now I'm gonna take and rasp the edge into the fuller part. I'm putting a little bit of a radius to it. You can see this point is higher. So I'll focus on this edge over here and get it parallel to the edge of the eye. A nice spine file. I might just... A little mill file. Oh, just to clean it up a little bit. We're just gonna put some nice lines on it. Kind of soften all the corners. Try and put some aesthetics in it. We've got this, all the cleanup just about done. We're just gonna cut the ends off, the head of it off. Try to get the, the cut off all on the inside. I'll put that in the vise and just Soften those edges. All right, let me just flip it over. We've got the blade in the center of the eye. I might be a little weak on the blade side of it, but I'd rather have it be a little shorter than a little longer because it's easier to steer with the sledgehammer hitting it. Uh, I've got a lot of material right here, but it all matters how, if the blade runs or not. So I think we're, we're set up. I think the striking surface goes through the eye for the actual working tip of the fuller. We're marking out a left front. So nine and a half would be dead center of 19 inches. We're just gonna go a frass, maybe about 3 16 off. All right, center punch marks right here. I'm gonna lean back and go straight through the stock and leave it, leave it rather limp on the anvil. Most of your distortion comes in the branch from too tight on your tong hand. Work out here on the perimeter because it's already gonna bend in the toe a lot more and skip over to this side. Turn over and then I'm just gonna Push it down, come here, and then I'm just gonna, I've got a nice radius. I haven't really committed anywhere. Now me and Eric will flatten it out. The whole thing, flat. So we're gonna assume at this point that our fuller is not done. So we're just, at this point, we know where the toe is at, we're gonna make each branch. We'll just go like this, just to mark it. To give us a reference point, just ever so slightly. These are kind of important because it lets you know how to square up your shoe. And when I say square up your shoe, if you hang this on the anvil, and you don't have these two marks, you can set your toe on there this way or that way. So now I'm just gonna back it into the, a little bit, give me a little bit of material, tip it up, make you a box, start out on the end and drop it in. Come right up to it, make, reproduce your corner, flatten it up a little bit. Perfect. Reestablish this corner.
We can't use any other fuller than the fuller we made for the class, so we did it with our head stamp where our fullering begins. What it does is it keeps the branches, when you turn each branch, it lets you see that the branch is underneath the toenail. What we're gonna do is we're four heats into it. We bump the toe, we turn the toe, outside branch, inside branch. So if I was four heats into my fuller, I would be ready to start bringing the fuller together with the shoe. So I've got this shoe made, and now we're gonna marry it up with the fuller in. I wanna keep this shoe at a nice temperature and not cold because this fuller is made out of A36, practically mild steel. And so I wanna be nice to the fuller. I wanna keep it cooled off and I wanna keep the shoe hotter. Just kind of sweetening up the branch a little bit, putting a little bit of shape into it. Just putting some nice lines on it. I'm just dunking it in water a little bit so I can make sure that it doesn't come up to temperature and I can get through this. It is mild steel, so you're not gonna be able to abuse it like you would a piece of H13 or S7. All right, just give me one each one. There you go. We will draw a clip on there. Let's flatten this up just a little bit. Whoa. Perfect. Come in here and make it user friendly from the backside. My last go at it. Pick it up. And go right into the corner. And then once you get it, the corner established, then you're just trying to push that top edge back up again. Plenty of material. Bend your knees so that your shoulders are low enough. And just draw you out a nice clip. Now I'm going to come and I'm just going to pull down on the shoe just a little bit and boom. Pull down on just. There we go, and that sets a nice corner. All right. Perfect. I've got a nice wide toe, and I'll just take one clean up heat on each branch and make it look like something. Hold it at the widest part and just kind of blend everything into the toe. and then flip it around and everything away from the toe and the widest part.
easy. I'm just going to kind of just drop these in a little bit. All I'm doing is just kind of snugging everything up and then redoing my nails. Frictioning those out. Grab it right where the widest part of the foot on top of the horn and just gonna go over the top. That's kind of putting, that's pushing my quarter out. And then come from the widest part and just follow it all around. And that means all your transition comes from the widest part of your foot. We'll wire brush it. Now we finished up the, the class. You can see the fuller, what we're doing to heat treat the fuller is bring it up to a, a, almost a bright orange to a dull red in between there and then quenching it off. And it held its shape. I kept it cool while I was fullering it. You can see it, it's pretty much taken the shape there. So right now we are eight by seven and three quarters. It measures right on. And we've got, this would be judged, our tool, it'll be judged and handed in, and this will be judged and handed in.